Hello there, I'm Daniel from the Analytics Plus team. Analytics Plus is a business intelligence software which also offers advanced analytics for ServiceDesk Plus. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up the integration between Analytics Plus and ServiceDesk Plus. This is the import your data screen in Analytics Plus. One of the options that you will see under the import your data section is the ServiceDesk Plus integration. You will see integration instructions when I click on this tile. These integration instructions are pretty straightforward, but this video should help you if you have any questions. One thing you will have to remember is that Service Desk Plus sends data to Analytics Plus, and so the configuration must be done on the Service Desk Plus side. Let me pull up my Service Desk Plus application. If you watched this video so far, you are probably a Service Desk Plus user, so the screen should be familiar. You just need to make sure that you have logged into Service Desk Plus with admin privileges. Click on the admin tab and choose advanced analytics under the general settings. Now you will see a page which talks about what this module offers and then a setup advanced analytics integration button. Clicking on this button would open up the integration page. You will see two options, analytics plus to set up an on-premise integration and Zoho reports for an on-cloud integration. For those who are not aware, Zoho Reports is a cloud-based software which offers similar reporting functionality like Analytics Plus. Alright, so let's set up the integration. You will have to fill about 5 fields to complete the integration. These fields will carry information about your Analytics Plus server, so Service Desk Plus knows where to push the data. You will start with the hostname or IP address of the server Analytics Plus is running on. Enter the HTTPS port of your Analytics Plus server. The default port is 8443 unless changed during installation. If you're not sure what the port number is, just launch Analytics Plus application and you will find the port number in the URL. Now enter the username and the password. If the traffic between Service Desk Plus and Analytics Plus needs to go through a proxy server, you can enter the details in this option. The final option is to set up the synchronize from date. This is the date from which Service Desk Plus data will be pushed to Analytics Plus. Let's say you choose the date as November 1, 2015. Only the information entered on or after November 1, 2015 will be pushed to Analytics Plus. Looks like we have all the information that we need. I'm going to save this configuration and let the data synchronize. The initial synchronization will roughly take 2 to 3 minutes depending on the amount of data that you have in Service Desk Plus. During this time, the advanced analytics configuration screen will remain frozen. After the initial synchronization is complete, you will see two new tabs in the configuration screen where you can set up some additional configuration. The first option is to set up periodic synchronization between Service Desk Plus and Analytics Plus. You can choose to synchronize the data every few hours. The lowest you can go is about an hour. The frequency will reduce as the product evolves. You can also use the Instant Sync button to push data to Analytics Plus on an ad hoc basis. The next option is to set up the data retention policy. You can use this option to clean up old Service Desk Plus data from Analytics Plus. Let's say you don't want to maintain data that is older than 3 months. You can choose 3 months option from the drop down. If you want to keep all the Service Desk Plus's data in Analytics Plus and not get rid of anything, choose the option None so that none of the data is removed from Analytics Plus. And finally, you have a list of users who have access to the Service Desk Plus database in Analytics Plus and the Analytics Plus license information. The last tab on the screen has the Remove button, which can be used at any point in time to remove all of Service Desk Plus data from Analytics Plus. This option deletes all the data that has been pushed to Analytics Plus and also deletes the configuration in the previous two tabs. Don't worry, none of these configurations make any changes to your data in Service Desk Plus. That completes the configuration part. Let me see if Service Desk Plus data is showing up in Analytics Plus. There it is. You should see a database here by the name ME Service Desk Plus Analytics, which should have all your pre-built reports and dashboards. That brings us to the end of this video. Please write to Analytics Plus support at managengine.com if you have any questions. I'm Daniel from Analytics Plus and thank you for watching.